Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect or set up Max CDN with your WordPress blog. So let's get started. First, you going to your um, CDN dashboard, I mean Max CDN dashboard. And um, if you are on dashboard, you can do click on zones. And then you going to click on create pull zone. Then here you going to name your zone. For example, I'm using uh, this domain so I'm just going to set up this max CDN with this domain so I'm just going back to my dashboard and here I'm just going to paste my domain name on it and then original sofa so I'm going to uh, copy the whole URL so make sure that you copy the whole URL I'm using um, Chrome browser here paste it on here actually when you click that you can also uh, have information on it. Then the label, for example, so I'm just going to type in my domain name and then so on. Once we've done that, we're going to click on create button. So the name, it says that characters, numbers, and dates are allowed, so no uh, point here or no dot here, so I'm just going to um, put the dash and then hit on create button. So now that the zone is successfully created, we're going to hit on close button and it says that we need to wait for a few minutes. So we're going to just click on close button here. So now that we have our CDN URL and everything, what we're going to do next is we're going to the settings uh, tab here. Just click that. And then here we're going to add the uh, customs custom domain so uh, I don't want to use my uh, this site and then my max CDN account name I don't want to use that and to uh, connect that so I want to have this as cdn.kimwp.com something like this so here is what we're going to do we're going to add the CDN and then our domain.com copy this click on add button and then next paste that and then we're going to uh, put cdn1.kimiwp.com add that again and just uh, the third uh, sorry the second so once we've done that, now we are going to set it up, this uh, C name in our web host. So we're going to log into our cPanel. Just copy this, put in another tab, and I'm just going to add cPanel. So it depends on which host that you host your website. I'm now host in uh, Bluehost, so I'm just going to log in in Bluehost. So once you are on Bluehost, cPanel and if you are not in cPanel just click on the cPanel button here and then here we're going to look for um, DNS so just type on search DNS and there it is now we have DNS zone editor just click that so here we are going to type in our uh, URL from our Mac CDN so I want this to be CDN dot uh, kim wp dot com for example and I want this to be C name and I want to point this to I'm going back to my make CDN and copy this C and um, sorry C name to this one copy this go back there again and then paste it in here and then add record so if we scroll down to C name there it is and we're going to scroll down and you see that I have my CDN here. So uh, what we're going to do is add again CDN one kimwp.com and then points to paste it here again and add records. Successfully added. You can check that again C name and it's be CDN1. There it is. Now 
we go back again until uh, how many we have three so if I scroll down to see name and as you can see I have CDN and CDN, CDN 1, 2, 3 if I go back here I have also until 3 so now that we are uh, we are done with our host and uh, in our make CDN, then we're going to go back to our um, dashboard. Here on our dashboard, you can use another plugin if you want to, but I find the WP um, sorry W3 Total Cache is the most easiest to set it up. So next is I'm going to performance and then general setting. Here, just for this demo, I don't enable anything here, but of course, yours has configuration on your preference. Now, here you can click on CDN in the CDN sections you want to enable it, and then CDN type, of course, you choose on Mac CDN. And then, save all settings. So, once you configure it, now uh, we have issue here that we should authorize it. So, we go back to our um, performance tab and then CTN section here here we're going to look for um, CTN there it is because we already set it up and we already have account so we're going to specify account credentials click on authorize and uh, make sure that you still log into your Mac CTN uh, dashboard Click Authorized and now that we have authorization, authorization key we're just going to copy this click on copy and then go back to our uh, authorization key here on our dashboard paste it on here and then we click on validate now that we are authorized and then we're going to um, scroll down so now here the host name are populated with our host name that we've just created. I'm just going to leave the uh, these options auto. So now before we click on save all setting, I want to see what letter will be the difference. So for example, this image I'm just going to I uh, inspect it. I'm using Chrome again, so you can inspect this image and look where the uh, push, um, the location and it says that this background image is on this URL so notice that there is no CDN here in this URL but once we are going to save this so click on save all settings but you can also test Mac CDN now So the test is passed. Now we're going to click on save all settings. Then we're going to clean all uh, cache. So now that we've just emptied the cache, now we are going to uh, refresh our blog. And let me pause the video. And let's scroll down and in the same image if we right click it and inspect then check again the URL where this image is located you see that now it has the cdn.kimwp.com so after you have successfully set up your Mac CDN with your web WordPress website one setting that we should take a look that is in SEO settings so Go to your dashboard in Mac CDN and then make sure that you are on zones and here we go, we are on pull zones and then we're going to select our new created or new setup for our website and then select on manage drop down button then we select on SEO icon so I think this SEO settings is quite important if you want, you can read this blog post from Mac CDN. 
how to use these canonical headers and robots.txt. For example, um, in our case, I want to canonical or canonical header, so you can just click that. I want to enable it. I personally want to enable it. And robots.txt also want to enable it. And notice that this robots.txt will be in our CDN root URL, so it's not in our uh, server URL. So you want to check this and then copy this um, simple robot.txt file. Just copy this and then I think it's already there. So I'm just going to paste it here and then see which content which not included yet and add it here and then delete the copy it one because it's, it's the same anyway and then once you have that we're going to click on update button so now that's we've successfully as you uh, set up as your setting from our CDN so now we've finished so thank you so much for watching see you in the next video and take care of yourself goodbye